Avalanche alerts have been very common over the last three months in the backcountry. A largely unknown piece of life-saving equipment, though, has gained some national exposure thanks to a near-fatal avalanche. Russ Thomas has that story. It's been over a week since professional snowboarder Mish Hittner survived an avalanche in Colorado's backcountry. She was saved by a piece of equipment called an avalanche airbag, which is relatively new in the U.S., but has been used for several years in Europe with great success. The statistics show that in the big wide open avalanche paths that are common in Europe, the avalanche uh, airbag system has a really high success rate, somewhere in the neighborhood of 98-99%. Avalanche expert Steve Karkinen advises those who like to ski or snowmobile in more risky terrain to have an avalanche airbag strapped on. If I get knocked off my sled or fall down, I'm caught in the slide, I want to deploy my airbag. And now I float to the surface and we're good to go. I'm saved. Trailhead store owner Todd Frank says sales started slow three years ago, but as people have become more aware, he's seeing a definite upswing. Most of them have sold so far to uh, more snowmobile customers than ski customers, although as they've gotten lighter and better and more comfortable, we're seeing more and more skiers. Karkinen says that while a backpack could be a lifesaver, the more narrow slopes in the backcountry lend themselves to running into potential hazards like trees that aren't as prevalent in open areas. People still can die um, even though they have an avalanche airbag, either from a, a secondary avalanche or simply from hitting something uh, when they're uh, getting rolled down the slope. And even with the best equipment in the world, the most important lifesaver is making smart choices, like avoiding areas where avalanche potential exists. Reporting from Montana's news station, I'm Russ Thomas. Now those avalanche airbags aren't exactly cheap. They cost about $800, but that is down from $1,200 from the price when it was introduced just three years ago. And if it saves your life, $800 that's cheap. is nothing, yeah. Right. Well, still to come.